In the case of AT&T Mobility versus Concepcion, the plaintiffs were left wondering if anything was truly free anymore. Congress passed the Federal Arbitration Act in response to nationwide hostility toward arbitration agreements. The act made arbitration agreements just as enforceable as any other contract provision. Section 2 of the Act included a clause that allowed for arbitration agreements to be invalidated under existing state law doctrines, such as fraud. Vincent and Liza Concepcion purchased a cell phone plan with AT&T. At the time, AT&T advertised free cell phones with the purchase of a cellular plan. The Concepcions received their cell phone but had to pay a $30 sales tax based on the phone's retail price. Their service agreement with AT&T outlined the process for filing a private dispute with AT&T using a form on its website. The service agreement also provided for arbitration, but only for individuals. The agreement didn't allow for class action arbitration. Spurning the arbitration provision, the Concepcions filed a lawsuit against AT&T in federal district court. Their case was eventually combined with other AT&T customers with similar claims. They formed a class action suit accusing AT&T of false advertising and fraud by charging them sales tax on phones that were advertised as free. AT&T filed a motion to enforce the original agreement and obligate the Concepcions to individual arbitration. The Concepcions responded that the arbitration agreement was unconscionable under California law because it didn't allow for class action resolution. The district court denied AT&T's motion holding the arbitration agreement's waiver to be unconscionable. Relying on the California case of Discover Bank v. Superior Court, the district court reasoned that AT&T hadn't demonstrated that one-on-one -on -one arbitration was an adequate replacement for traditional class action litigation. AT&T appealed to the Court of Appeals for the Ninth Circuit, which agreed with the district court and affirmed the judgment. The United States Supreme Court granted cert.